Welcome to Storytime. My name is Caitlin and today we're at the Port Alberni branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library. Now before we get started with today's story time and maybe based on the books behind me you have an idea of what we're talking about, we're going to start with our hello song. So if you don't know my hello song already, don't worry we're going to go through it together and then we will all sing it together. So we're going to go through the signs because this, this song has some sign language that goes along with it. So our first sign is hello and to do that we're going to pretend like we're giving a salute. Can you do that with me? Can you pretend like you're giving a salute and su sign hello back to me? Excellent. So our next sign is friends. So it's like our two pointer fingers, one, two, are giving each other a hug twice. So one, two, and that's our sign for friends. Let's do that one more time. One, two, good job. When we say it's time, we're gonna point to our wrists like we're wearing a watch and say it's time. And then our final sign to say, our hand is gonna come out from our chin like this. So all together, our signs are hello, friends, it's time to say. Do you think you're ready to sing it with me? Let's give it a try. Hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Good job, everybody. So hello, I hope you're having a really wonderful week. Now, as I mentioned before, the hint today's story time is behind me. Do you know what any of these are? Our little green friend back there. Today we're talking about dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Raise your hand if you like dinosaurs too. I think dinosaurs are pretty cool. So, I have a book to share with you today that's going to talk all about dinosaurs. We're going to learn some facts about dinosaurs and given the title, How to Catch a Dinosaur, maybe we'll learn how to catch one. That would be pretty cool. So this is How to Catch a Dinosaur and this is written by Adam Wallace and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before, but this year I know I cannot lose because I'm catching a dinosaur. I wonder how you catch a dinosaur. The crocs and the sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. Maybe there's some dinosaurs still hanging around. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that thing over there? What's that? What does that look like? <gasps> yes, I think it's a dinosaur tail. Do you think that tail belongs to a dinosaur? Maybe? The dino is more bird than reptile. We learned in science class, that's true. And this one left something behind. I've got our first dinosaur clue. Did you know that? The dinosaurs are more like birds than they are reptiles. Some scientists even think dinosaurs used to have feathers. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right by our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. This is a very smart dinosaur. There's the tail again. This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry. But we've got more in store for her, so this is no time to worry. So there's a sign on the pool that says dinosaurs swim for free. But I don't know. Does that look like normal pool water to you? I don't think pool water is supposed to be pink. I think that's slime to try and catch the dinosaur, but the dinosaur is just too smart. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can it be she's onto my tricks? Dinosaur 
was not easy to catch, but apparently this dinosaur skateboards. Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. And if that isn't bad enough, I ruined mom's prize winning roses. Uh oh, still no dinosaur and we've ruined mom's roses. We made a prehistoric playground and with lots of friends to play. Our Dinah won't be able to resist. This time, she won't get away. That looks like a pretty good dinosaur trap. I wonder if it'll work. Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dino smashed it all to pieces. She should be called T-Rex. Dinosaur slipped right through their trap again. It's very hard to catch a dinosaur. My mom is an engineer, so I've learned a trick or three. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let our dino go free. So it wasn't working to catch in a box or a cage, but now we're going to try and catch a dinosaur with a hugging robot. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. If I don't catch the dinosaur soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. Do you see the dinosaur? Where's the dinosaur? Is that her wearing the chicken head? Sneaky dinosaur. We didn't catch the dinosaur. I don't know what to do. But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. So all of the things that we use to try and catch the dinosaur are pretty good science fair entries too. We did it! Look at that. Everybody came in first, even without a dinosaur. Better luck. Look who's living under the school, our little mischievous dinosaur. So that is the end of how to catch a dinosaur. So there are some really cool facts in there about that dinosaurs are kind of like birds, that they can be plant eaters, and apparently they're very mischievous. So I have a song to see if we can meet some more dinosaurs. So I'm going to need your help to sing it pull my board over. So we have this lovely fern and we have one dinosaur that's going to go out to play and that's this guy here. You know what kind of dinosaur this is? It's a stegosaurus. So we're going to sing and we're going to say one little dinosaur went out to play on a giant fern one day and he had such enormous fun that he called for another dinosaur to come. So when we say we're calling for another dinosaur, we're going to stomp our feet and we're going to say, oh, dinosaur. We're gonna call our dinosaur and then we're gonna stomp our feet like the dinosaur is running. And we're gonna continue that until we get to all five dinosaurs. And we're gonna see if you can name all of our dinosaurs. Are you ready? One dinosaur went out to play on a giant fern one day. He had such enormous fun that he called for another dinosaur to come. Ready? Oh, dinosaur! Do you see our dinosaur? There's our dinosaur. All right, what kind of dinosaur is this one? Pretty in pink, a pterodactyl. So now how many dinosaurs do we have playing on the fern? Two. Two dinosaurs went out to play on a giant fern one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another dinosaur to come. Ready? Call for another dinosaur. Oh, dinosaur! Here comes another dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur do we have next? Do you know what this dinosaur is called? This is a brontosaurus. Now we've got three dinosaurs. Three dinosaurs went out to play on a giant fern one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another dinosaur to come. Ready? Oh, dinosaur! Oh, I see another dinosaur. Do we know what kind of dinosaur this is? It's a tri
Triceratops. So now we have four dinosaurs. Four dinosaurs went out to play on a giant fern one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another dinosaur to come. Ready? Oh, dinosaur! All right, who's our final dinosaur? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now we've got five dinosaurs. Five dinosaurs went out to play on a giant fern one day. They had such enormous fun. They played and played till the day was done. Good job, good dinosaur naming and good dinosaur calling. So we are almost at the end of our dinosaur story time. I'm gonna push that out of the way. But I think we have time for one more song. So I'm gonna let my song cube decide our final song to sing. Toss. Ooh, I'm gonna sing I'm a Little Teapot. So I'm gonna stay sitting because if I stand up, you're not gonna be able to see me anymore. But you stand up and sing I'm a Little Teapot with me. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Good job, can you sing it one more time? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Good job, everybody. So we are at the end of our dinosaur themed story time. So all that's left to do is to sing our goodbye song. So it's just like the hello song we sang at the start. We're just gonna change out one sign. So now instead of saluting hello, we're just gonna wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me for Dinosaur Storytime today. I hope you had a lot of fun and I will see you again soon. Bye!